Lessons three and four are very similar to each other. We're just going to have a few more variables on each side than what we had in the beginning. It's a little bit more complicated, but it, we work solve them exactly the same way. So here we have 3x plus 2 plus 2x. So we're going to set that up on the left-hand side. So we have 3x's. We're going to put that here. Then we have a 2. So we will put our number 2 facing up. Then we have two more x's. So all of that is on the left-hand side. On the right, we have an x plus 6. So we need one more x and a 6. Let's see. No, oh, that's a 9. OK. All right, so now what we need to do, we solve it the same way that we've done before. So in this case, we can take a blue pawn from each side take one on this side, one on this side, and now we have numbers on both sides but we only have pawns on the left. So the largest we can take away from both sides, the largest number would be the 2. So we're going to subtract the 2 on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we're going to subtract 6 minus 2, so we will remove the 6, and then we need the other number cube so we can get the 4 because 6 minus 2 is 4, so we have 4 on this side. So now we're ready to go ahead and solve for the variable. We have 4 pawns, or 4x's, equals 4, which means that 1x is equal to 1. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and write x equals 1 and now we need to do a check. So we're going to go back, put the original pieces back on. We have a pawn on each side. Okay, we had five pawns on the left altogether. We need to change, now we need to add two back on each side. So we're going to change this four to a six. And then we need to put two on this side. So if we go back to that original setup, if x equals 1, we have over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 2 is 7. And over here we have a 6 plus 1, which is 7. So both sides equal 7, which means that our check is 7 equals 7, which we know is correct.